Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first official episode of The Potato Show. Yes, I have officially started my reign, and today is the first official episode. I, I'm bad at explaining things, I'm sorry. Anyways, the first topic that we're going to be talking about on my brand new show is pizza. Pizza is my absolute favorite food of all time. And I actually know a girl who... Hey, 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 what are you doing over here? Are you taking over the show again? Why is it every day I run off to go get a jacket or something and you take over the show? Is that what happens? Try try, to, try not to run away this time. Yeah, for all this fun stuff now. <clears throat> actually, I'm glad that you mentioned pizza because, hey, why don't you stop looking at that? Oh, you know what? That's a good point. We are going to talk about pizza today with a very special guest. But first, let me go into our fun stuff right there. Hold on. Let me click this button here. There you go. That's delicious. March 30th, 2020. Yes. That's today's date, everybody. 2020, March 30th. Hey, uh... Yesterday, we had a lot of fun playing charades, charades, and we played for like an almost an hour. It was a lot of yeah. fun. We had a lot of people. We had like two sessions. We had two winners. The winner of the first was Elizabeth. The winner of the second was Julia. Eliana made her sketch edits for the folks. Well, they weren't sketches. I used like screenshots. Correct. Stuff. Yes, but you still, did, you still did a lot of great work. Here is what she made for Elizabeth. Show us your beautiful artwork, Elle. You gotta kind of hold it up a little bit closer. There you go. It's got a, it's a little oh, bright, it but a little there you go. Congratulations, Elizabeth. Show us the one you made for Julia. And oh, I see she's got like cool like hairstyles and stuff. There we go. Let's check that out. So a oh, little bit better. There we go. So that's what she made for Julia. Awesome work. I think everybody agrees that is awesome work that Eliana did. <clears throat> yes, John. John says he should have won. You are so close. <laughs> But you were spelling words wrong, John. That's what happens when you're a, a trigger finger. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> as we mentioned, we're going to talk about pizza today with a very special guest. Hey. Ashley Nestorovska. How's it going, Ashley? Good. How are you guys? Good, good, good. I'm going to let me swipe this to the next part here. We're going to talk about Chubby Charlie's. There's that cool logo you guys have. It looks like me when I don't have enough pizza, right? I'll, yeah. it would be, maybe if I have too much pizza. <laughs> it looks like Anyways, a yes, you can never have too much too much pizza. John, I'm sorry, John. You can you don't have to play next time. Um, <laughs> anyways, back back on topic today. We said, you can stop that now. Oh, well, to <laughs> She's going to draw something right now. Uh, so, Chubby Charlie's. I am actually really glad to have you on um, because... You guys, Chubby Charlie's, have been doing some awesome stuff lately. First and foremost, obviously, we all know that uh, the situation that we're all in now has has had different effects. All the different industries, food industry, yeah. has, has been impacted in a variety of different ways. Before we get into that, tell us a little bit about Chubby Charlie's. Oh wow, where do you start? So, I started <laughs> in 2011. Um, actually, after my uh, parents have been in the Little Caesars business for a little bit over 20 years. Mm -hmm. So the Chubby Charlie's concept was invented really when my dad was a lot younger. He worked at a party store back in like the middle of Detroit, somewhere on 8 Mile, hmm. um, and was the uh, pizza maker. That was his job. So he had invented the Chubby Charlie's name, the concept all in his head back back then. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. So he, he had that kind of stuck in his head the whole time, huh? <laughs> whole time, whole time. And then, you know, fell in love with the concept, fell in love with making pizzas, knew that mm -hmm. that was his passion. Um, and, you know, it has been like, you know, two other siblings um, also in the family. And it's been like our life since. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. I'm, I'm scrolling through the uh, through the website right now for everybody. Uh, and I want to click on menu. I want to eat everything. <laughs> I want to eat all this stuff. Oh, my gosh. Look at those appetizers. Chubby bed, bread, chubby cheese bread. So been in the industry for, for a long time. Has been a passion for creating really yummy food. Uh, uh, Pete says literally the best za. I like that hashtag za. Very, yeah, very, very yeah. good. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, uh, you know, it, it's it's awesome the stuff that, that you get. What are, what are like some of your biggest sellers right now? 
Oh my gosh. I cannot tell you. I was joking with my dad. Like <laughs> if I make one more pizza that has ham on it, I will yes. just, like pass up. Everything ham this week. I don't know what it is. Really? Oh so, yeah. Like uh, we have a sweet and spicy. It's basically mm -hmm. like Hawaiian with like a little kick of jalapeno. Made a ton of those this week. You know, folks really like just the standard supreme, you know? Uh, so he says the, the pickle pizza and the porky pig pizzas. Can never forget about those. Pickle pizza, definitely top seller. Um, if you've heard of Chubby Charlie's before, like you've heard it on the radio and the news, and the pickle pizza is the hot one. The Can't pickle pizza. Of those we've made just yesterday, too. Oh, it sounds very good. There it is. Their pickle pizza, Charlie's creamy garlic sauce, cheese, and lots of pickles. Ah. Oh. You love pickles, L. Yes, I do. We're gonna have to try this one. We're gonna have to try this one. So, um, you have uh, um, the menu is like just full of some awesome stuff over here. Where are you guys? Where are you guys located at? We actually have two locations. Um, the original one, the first one, is in Waterford, right mm -hmm. on Lee Lake Road. And then we just recently, in the last week, opened our second location in Clarkston. Excellent, excellent, mm -hmm. very cool. So you have a couple locations right now. Um, you're doing all these different types of of great food, and uh, you've been you've been doing some really cool stuff. Yeah, the chubby bread, of course, Tony. Chubby bread. I mean, it's our top supporter right there. He's our he's the number one shopper right now. <laughs> we'll have to have you on as well, Tony. Um, but uh, tell me a little bit about what you guys have been doing lately. I mean, I've, again, I mentioned that we're kind of in this this strange situation right now, and you guys have been really proactive in some of the things that you've been you've been doing. Yeah. So, I mean, like, you know, you watch the news, you see the environment, mm -hmm. um, of course, like where, you know, the area is, it's all like super like residential, right? We're mm -hmm. in the park. Mm -hmm. So it's crazy because you just walk outside and like, you know, yesterday was different. Like it's mm -hmm. literally a ghost town out here. So that was like a big indicator, right? Yeah. But also knew we have like very loyal customers. We have like pretty good like fan base. We have a lot of followers on social media mm -hmm. and we see a lot too, you know? Um, our customers are very loyal and friendly and the fact that like they also share their lives with us, right? So mm. we kind of see like what's happening out there. And of course, admits like the current environment that we're in with COVID, um, we wanted to like do good, right? Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. what we've been doing is um, in the last few days, we've donated to four different hospitals. It's amazing. Um, I saw Lou was at a hospital today, actually. Yes, uh, out in Southfield, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, here on Valley is another one. Harper Hospital in Detroit's the other. McLaren recently in Clarkson we donated as well, uh, just to support all the hardworking nurses, the doctors who are spending, you know, at least 12, 13 hours yeah. a day, um, you know, and amidst all of this too, of course, like food safety is in concern. So most, if not all of these hospitals, you know, have cafeteria closed, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I think a little food goes a long way. Um, it certainly did. We had uh, so many people reaching out and appreciating it. Um, and for us, it was like so little, you know what I mean? So that's mm -hmm. something certainly that we want to keep doing. And we have a few more on radar um, to donate this week too. That's amazing. That's amazing. Are you guys... Um... Uh, how, like how many pizzas do you typically donate at a time? I'm just kind of curious. Like, are you are you just backing up the Chubby Charlie's truck and just like a landslide of pizzas fall out? Is there is there a certain amount that you guys are technically allowed to give? And how does that whole process go? Do do they have to have somebody come out to to meet you guys, or how does that typically work? Yeah. So from what I, from a few, you know, our customers had actually reached out to us. Okay. And, okay. I have like my wife working there. Mm. Or, you know, her staff is like running out without food. Um, I think we, I'm going to sound like a horrible daughter right now, but I think <laughs> about, yeah, he's signing it to me right now. Yeah. 100 so far. I got wow. it. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. Uh, yeah. That's amazing. Uh, it's fantastic. Yeah. And again, it's little to us, you know, but it certainly goes a long way. Of course, like, you know, the folks do have to come out. There's mm -hmm. very, very like tight, you know, security restrictions sure. there. They just wanted to hang out, you know, it was like good for them to like be outside, like talk about pizza. Who doesn't want to talk about? Who pizza? doesn't want to talk about pizza? I think um, she's looking up pizza right now, actually. Yeah, <laughs> I got her attention. Yes. Um, but yeah, you know, like you, you definitely saw it. It was a different vibe kind of thing, you know? Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's been good. That's cool. I mean, it's, you know, it's pizza seems to be the universal food right now. It, when, in, in a situation of like this, it, it's, it's uh, way more cost effective than even than like burgers. Like it, yeah. getting a great pizza will last you longer 
than buying, uh, you know, burgers from McDonald's. Sorry, McDonald's. We love McDonald's, but I know. I'm sorry, kiddo. You get out your nuggets, but you're, you're done with your nuggets by the time we get home. A pizza will last not only that day, but, you know, even to the next day. And they're, and they're, they're much more affordable. And they taste great. I'm like, I got my bullet points. Right. Pizzas are affordable. Pizzas taste great. You can do a lot more with pizza, like your amazing pickle pizza. And by the way, I still got to try it. So that's my goal over the next, uh, you know, but yeah, I'm going to try this, this amazing pickle pizza. that has been on all the local TV stations. Um, and it, and pizza is always, it's like this weirdest, one of the, one of the only foods, maybe besides ice cream and uh, a bag full of M&Ms or something that always brings a smile to people. Pizza, you bring a pizza out and it's like, okay, I can have pizza because pizza is good. And so you guys are capitalized. I don't say capitalized, but you guys are doing great by spreading some of this big, I'm going to call it big round joy to, uh, yeah. uh, pie slice joy to all the different, all the different places that definitely need it. That's always the first goal. That's it. Like, you know, not to say our pet sure. happy by any means it's the best pizza in the world, but like, <laughs> even if it was, you know, like that's the primary goal, making our customers happy. So that's fantastic. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about, um, how, what's, what's been happening in your, uh, in, in your places right now. So, um, are you guys doing curbside? Are you guys doing, are you still allowing people in the stores? Like, how is that process? Cause every, I know every place is kind of doing it differently, but I'm curious how you guys are handling it. Yeah. So, I mean, what it comes down to is like sizes of the store too. And like mm. the service you offer anyway, um, in the, around the Waterford area, we actually have, um, some neighbors and they have like a larger restaurant mm -hmm. and they've never done the takeout concept before. So for them, it's wow. a little bit harder. Yeah. Um, than it is for us to admit, right? Um, but at the same time, right? Like we've always been like a very busy pizzeria. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so with that comes longer wait times. It comes with mm. a little bit longer lines. And of course, we're all still trying to abide by social distancing, sure. being six okay. feet apart kind of thing. Um, so, you know, max one, two, three people at a time, right? Mm -hmm. Is probably, is, is the safest, right? So yeah. try to- Are you guys seeing more, more like uh, more orders right now or- um, is it, is it, is it more? Yeah. I mean, I can imagine that, uh, obviously you can't find everything you want at Kroger, right? You go into Kroger and you're like, okay, they're out of deli meats. They're out of, or they're out of cheeses. Or in our case, you know, we, they were out of, uh, the number one thing that Ellie loves. They were out of ice cream. It took me a while to actually find her mint chocolate chip ice cream. Um, and, uh, they had a few frozen pizzas, but you, you know, frozen pizzas are never real pizzas. So, right. I mean, I could, I imagine some of these places are st starting to get back up to speed, but in the meantime, you can't, you know, you can't go wrong with pizza and, 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 and kind of getting takeout and stuff. And it's a great way to support local businesses. I know, um, Thank you. like uh, one of the things that that's happening right, right now, I mean, they always, they always have like the Detroit restaurant week and now they're doing like Detroit takeout week, I think, but it's all of the Metro Detroit area where they're asking people, you know what, for this whole week or really for these next several weeks, however long we are, uh, go to your favorite place and support them. And I, I think, you know, De for, for one thing, Detroit pizza is vastly underappreciated. We have, yeah. <laughs> because our pizzas and I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm getting on my, I'm getting on my high horse right now. I'm going to get on my, my yeah. podium. what do they call them? Getting on my, my soapbox right now. <laughs> Detroit pizza. It has heart. <laughs> Detroit pizza. It has the heart. You know, we have, uh, Chicago pizza is known for their, their crust or their deep dish, yeah. right? New York is known. New York is known for something else. You know, right. LA, does LA even have pizza? I don't know if LA has pizza, but Detroit pizza, we have flavor and that's something. I mean, we have pickle pizza. We Hawaiian pizza. I love Hawaiian pizza. That's old school. And you look at some of the things that you're, that you're putting together on your menu. I think the pizzas that you guys have, the variety shows you really what, what Detroit pizza can be all about. Cause the Caprice pizza, I'm seeing the BLT pizza, a, a cheeseburger pizza. I mean, the variety we have in Detroit, it's, it's about flavor and that's really what you want, what you want in your pizzas. You know, you want flavor, you want yeah. something memorable. So I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to support pizza. Ellie, do you want to support pizza? Heck yes. Are we going to do hashtag support pizza? Uh -huh. <laughs> that's awesome. What's your favorite pizza? What's your favorite pizza? She has her favorite pizza. It's, it's, pepperoni and cheese pizza just absolute if she grew up on little caesars because it's like the five dollar the yeah. five buck the five buck chuck as we call it but uh, okay. we're slowly transitioning her into good pizzas so um not that little caesar's bad by any means it's just that we want pizzas that have a little bit more flavor and a little yeah. more heart, you know uh and so uh yeah she's just like plain jane pepperoni and cheese is her favorite I love yep. that. 
Yeah, it, nothing wrong with it. Pepperoni and cheese is the, is the mainstay. What is your like? Do you guys have like is pepperoni and cheese your number one seller? Like, I mean, I'm curious, like ratio wise, what is typically make a lot of those? With, honestly, it's between the pickle pizza and the supreme pizza. Have wow, some. awesome. Even cool, people cool. like come in, they're like, I just want my standard cheese, standard pepperoni. They mm -hmm. always will order at least a small pickle pizza. Awesome. That's well, I'm, we're gonna have to definitely have to get the pickle pizza. <laughs> so, I swear. Yes, yes, yes. So uh we're gonna be in this for ho hopefully not too much longer, but even after that, I recommend everybody who's watching definitely go out and check out Chubby Charlie's. Where can we find Chubby Charlie's? Where can we find you guys? I mean, you're on social media, you said where is your social everywhere. media spots everywhere? Facebook, of course. You have a really popular uh Facebook page. I mean, I'm on there all the time and it's stuff always popping up in my feed and I'm always my mouth is always drooling <laughs> where are your where were your locations again do you do you can you tell us where your locations are and clarkston waterford and clarkston yeah. uh what uh and the website is chubbycharlies.com mm -hmm. yeah and and the images that you just saw of the guy chowing down on the pizza could very well be me hopefully sooner rather than later chowing down on these delicious pizzas and you even have the you have a detroit style okay first of all what's a detroit style deep dish pizza it is basically just thick, like hearty, buttery crust and whatever toppings you want on it. It's my nice. favorite for sure. Nice. I am. I'm so ready. That <laughs> is awesome. Ashley, thank you so much for, yeah. for being on the show. Thank you for everything you guys are doing. Um, honestly, that's the one of the main reasons I wanted you guys. I wanted to have you on the show is, is you guys have been so proactive in the community and going out and, and bringing joy to the people that need it right now and the, the folks that are really at the front lines and you know thank you to everybody today is national doctor day did you realize it ellie yeah I heard. Yeah, she heard today's national doctor day so okay. you guys already went out and supported and we think that that's that's absolutely awesome and uh we look forward to hearing more of your your great things and seeing you guys on local tv and uh hearing about your your awesome pizzas and trying it obviously number one trying your pizzas yeah come on down we'll be waiting for you but if anyone knows that there's anything more we can do to help just you know hit us up and we will make every effort to do so fantastic ashley thank you so much we'll be talking to you again soon thanks guys bye bye awesome that was ashley that was so cool is that isn't pizza is like the most amazing food i think pizza is the most amazing food. what do you think ellie Yes. Okay, why don't you stop drawing? What are you drawing over there? It just looks like a piece of purple ink. I don't no, know what. No, no. Oh, uh oh. I think she's made Chubby Charlie's fan art. What is this Chubby Charlie's fan art? Can you show us? She made Chubby Charlie's fan art. It is a kid eating. It's Ellie eating pizza. It's not me. It's not you? Uh, you made fan art for Chubby Charlie's. That is awesome. We'll have to send it over to them. How does that sound? Maybe. Maybe. Not just maybe, for sure, for sure. Um, how about we uh, get into, um, oops, let me do this thing real quick here. Where's my, I think I closed, I think I closed my file that I had open. Dad! Dad, what did you do that for? Okay, it's open again, sorry, it's open again. Um, uh, let me see if I can get this close this bad boy. How is everybody else, by the way, on this wonderful, wonderful day? All right, I'm going to share this. That was Chubby Charlie's. It was awesome, awesome, awesome to speak to Ashley and the whole Nasarovsky family. They're they're very cool. I've known them for a long time. They've they've helped out at the church a lot. Did you know that they've been very yeah. very active at the church and churches, I guess. Um, and yeah, definitely check out Chubby ChubbyCharlie's.com. They're so cool. Now it's time for. The Macklish word of the day. <clears throat> the Macklish word of the day. Can you guys pronounce that? Can you guys pronounce that? Everybody watching? This is it's, this is how it's pronounced. <clears throat> hey, you kids are so loud. Quiet. Why don't you could be quiet? <laughs> this has been the Macklish word of the day. <laughs> Oh my God, there she goes. And now it's time for Eliana's joke of the day. Ellie, tell us what your joke of the day is. I can't use my laptop anymore because someone spilled apple cider, apple juice on it. Wait, you can't, they say it again. You, you what? It, I can't use my laptop anymore because someone spilled apple juice on it. You can't use your laptop because someone spilled apple juice on it. It was a cider attack. It was a cider attack. Oh, goodness. 
face palm on that one. This has been Eliana's joke of the day. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yes, definitely, John. Yum. Well, again, thank you so much to Ashley. And John likes your joke. He definitely likes your joke. Ashley, the whole Chubby Charlie's crew, really appreciate everything you guys are doing. And we really appreciate you guys all for joining us tonight on That's Delicious. Uh, delicious, delicious. Ba -ba -da -ba -dum. This girl is like hiding back here. How is everybody else? Has anybody, whoa, whoa, has anybody else been eating thing? Lou, thank you for, for, thank you for having us on, on blah, 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 blah. Thank you for being on our show. <laughs> uh, see, he loved the joke. Lou loved the joke. Uh, let us know what are you guys chowing down on? What are you guys been munching during this, these last few weeks? And we expect yourselves, uh, to be munching on going forward. I think it's fantastic. Uh, anything we're eating, hopefully we'll get some, uh, some ice cream after this. How does that sound? I think that's a win-win situation. All right, everybody. We'll see you in the next episode of, uh, the potato show. that's, a, that's delicious. <laughs> Help, help, help. Next week is my big takeover. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs>